Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you are doing well. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at what is this person on your mind? What are their secret thoughts and feelings for you? So what are they thinking about you? Um, I will preface this by, you know, throwing in a trigger warning. I'm not entirely sure what's going to pop up, but I just want to make sure that if you are in a sensitive mood, you know that this is not a place for you to sort of be because I'm just not sure. I don't know what's going to come up here, but the goal as always is radical honesty, right? So just have to keep that in mind. Um, there will be three piles to choose from. Pile number one, we have this open heart by Earth and Alchemy. Pile number two, we have the Kishar grounding oil. And pile number three, we have the Pluto altar spray. If you did need some more time, you can go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one. How are you? If you chose the Earth and Alchemy Open Heart Oil, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. I'm just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel for the purposes of the reading today. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the open heart, flower essence. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy regarding their person. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. I ask that you continue to keep pile one safe and protected throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, one of the things I'm feeling right away, first of all, this person could smoke. I'm definitely feeling a lot of like smoking energy around this person. This could be cigarettes or, um, you know, weed. This person feels like they have, I keep hearing the word mistreat. So either this person feels like they have been mistreated by you or they feel like you have mistreated them, either one, one or the other. This person is definitely in their thoughts and in their feelings about you quite a lot. They feel a lot of emotions. They feel a lot of intensity as well around this connection. I feel like they want a fresh start or they want to sort of like clear something up here as well. Because I just keep hearing, can we talk? Can we talk? Okay, pile number one's person. What are their secret thoughts about pile one? The chariot. Someone here could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's, there could be a distance here as well. <coughs> There's a strong desire to reconnect, I think, with you. Um, this person is definitely in their emotions over this connection. They feel like they want to move something forward. I also feel like there's this stubbornness coming through. So this person could feel like you're very stubborn or they could feel like they are being very stubborn. What's their secret thoughts, please, towards that one? page of coins. There could be an age gap here or a gap in maturity. One of you could be an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the other could have cancer placement prominently here. I think that this person's secret thoughts are they want to kind of give this another go. They would like to try again, but maybe in like a, a less like invasive way. This person sometimes feels like your energy is super intense and I think they're a lot more comfortable with like doing things in a bit more of a balanced way or in a smaller way. Like they don't really like a lot of over the top energy. So this person could have felt like maybe things between the two of you got too serious too fast, but they're definitely open to communicating with you. Okay, we have the chariot card again. Dang, double chariot. I'm going to put that there. This person definitely does see like movement here or they would like movement especially with that double chariot. I feel like they um, want to take some sort of action here for sure. This person, secret thoughts about you is that they want action here. They want to have the confidence, the courage, and the drive to be able to move forward here. For some of you, this person could have put something above this connection. Specifically, I'm hearing career, so that could be something as well that they're sort of thinking about. Um, but their secret thoughts are that they want to like give this another go they do miss you pile one's secret thoughts where is pile one's the person on their mind what are their secret thoughts about pile one 
We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person sometimes feels like they're not sure how to read you. So their secret thoughts about you are that you're quite complex. This person feels like your energy can be all over the place. Um, and that is something that they kind of are bothered by a little bit when it comes to you. They sometimes don't really know how to interpret what it is that you're saying or what it is that you're thinking. They feel like you're a bit confusing. Your own energy could be a little bit all over the place. So they have a hard time reading you. This person thinks you're moody. I will say that. Some of you could have double cancer placements like Cancer Sun and Moon, or you could have a stellium in Cancer. What else? Pile one's person. What are their secret thoughts? You have kisses. Yeah, I think this person... They're definitely thinking a lot about the past, especially if there was like physical contact here. Um, they miss you. You have very passionate and affectionate times. Every moment they get, they will express their feelings through gentle displays of affection and intimacy, having feelings on display. This person misses you. They want to kiss you. They want to hold you. They, they feel like um, you add a lot of value to their life. And I think that there's this energy of wondering how they can kind of come back in I do think this person's secret thoughts are that they wish that they were, you know, better towards you or they wish that they had an opportunity to restart this connection or to work on it again. There is definitely a high, high degree of attraction still coming through here, okay? So I don't want you to think that this person isn't attracted to you because they definitely are. Um, but they are in their heads for sure because the second card we had was guilt. So this person could have done something here that they feel guilty about. They may want to use toys in the bedroom. Feeling guilty about what was said or done, something done that was offensive to you. They have remorse for their actions. They're sorry for what they have done. The, this person's secret thoughts are, you know, that they wish that they were able to come towards you. They definitely feel a little bit overwhelmed by like how they can fix this connection. Um, I think that this person wants to try again. I really do. What else, please? Pile one's person's secret thoughts about pile one. We have, I'm open to compromise. And we have time to ground yourself. We also have there someone else. So this person could have introduced the third party, but you guys could have a third party here. I feel like this person is kind of like lazy, honestly. Um, they don't really want to give you your full demands. They could feel like you're a bit of a drama queen or king, whatever, but I feel like this person, they miss you. They want to ground this connection down, but there's still like this um, inability or this flightiness that this person has. And they seem to know that you are like pretty high value and that you're not just going to let that pop into your life without any specific reason, right? Like this person is tired of what they view as you being complicated. I do think this person would see you as someone who's complicated or you know, um, you are always like demanding a little bit too much from them or something. They do see you in this way. What else? We have heart, mind, transformative space. You make a difference. I think one of the things that this person does really think about you though, is like they know that you made a big impact on their life person knows that you have come in and really transformed them in some capacity and they wish that they had um, the courage to tell you that. I think that this person knows that they've been, you know, rather <coughs> lazy with you, I guess. They wish that you would open the door. I think more of like what I'm really feeling from your energy is that you kind of have a barrier up to this person because of their immaturity. But for some reason, this person is trying to typecast you in their brains as being moody when I don't actually think that that's the case. But this person wishes that they were able to tell you that you did really change their life because I do think you did. We have Butterfly Psyche Soul. Take a risk. This person does want to dive in here. They, I don't, I wouldn't put it beyond this person to like want to come back into your life. They definitely seem like they're still um, thinking about that. They feel like you and them have like a strong bond that's still here. They want to kiss and touch you and hold you. I will say that I think this person is more focused on, you know, the potential here to just get what they want out of you, which is like a your sexual submission. 
whoever this person is, they are quite immature. And you could have told this person that too. You could have asked them like why they were acting so immaturely. You could definitely see that coming through. I do feel this person, they have a lot of sexual thoughts about you and um, you might not be able to get rid of this person super easily because I do feel like they want to pop back into your life in some capacity. They're definitely <laughs> like horny is what I'm hearing. But this person's secret thoughts are they know your high value, but they just don't know if they can actually like give you the respect that you deserve, honestly. And because you might have demanded something from them, they're seeing you as difficult when in essence you're just standing up for yourself, um, which is not never a bad thing. So that's what I have. Interesting, very interesting energy here. Oh, this person is very like still fixated on you this person could also like to like work out specifically in the same boxing they don't want to address their full feelings for you though even though their secret thoughts are they know how valuable you are they actually do really like you but if they can't show that to you properly then what's the point right okay hi pal too if you chose the kishar grounding oil then this is your reading welcome i hope you're well just going to go ahead and dive right into your energy before I begin. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to pile number two who chose the Kishar grounding oil? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we want to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Please help me connect to pile two and their person. And thank you for everything you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing dairy. So this person, or you could be allergic to dairy. There could be a connection here to farming as well. This person has like um, a really difficult time coping with things. So I don't know if they're going through some kind of a hard time. Or this could be you as well. They could be feeling like you're having a difficult time coping. I think this person wants to um, pick up the pace is what I'm hearing with you. They do think about you a lot, even though there could be silence or distance here. Um, this person definitely sees you as someone who is very deep, very complex. Like this person feels like they don't really understand you to some level. You you are intimidating to them. Pile number um, two, please. What are pile two's person's secret thoughts about them? We have the six of coins. We have the nine of wands. Okay. I sometimes see the six of coins. This is my charity card. So this person could feel like right now, you're not super open to love in general. Um, they could feel like you're difficult, difficult to get to know, difficult to have access to. You guys could have pushed this person away in some capacity because this person feels like they do not have access to you. You feel to me like you have set a boundary with this person. This person also sees you as very busy. They kind of feel like you're in your own zone and they don't really know if you have any like interest in them. This person is not sure if you actually like them. We have the King of Cups. I will say this though. Oh, I'm going to cover her breasts. <laughs> um, they do have a lot of emotions towards you that I feel like they don't really feel like, you know, you're reciprocating. If you notice her, her eyes are closed. She's not even really looking at him. So I feel like this this person feels like you don't really pay attention to them. They could just feel like you're very busy as well. Like you could, you could have a lot of things going on. <coughs> and I feel like this person is feeling like they don't know how to access you. But they're watching you. This person is definitely around you. They're kind of in the, in your energy field. Um, but they feel like you don't care about them or you're kind of in a different space. You're focusing on something else. What else, please? Pile number two. What are their person's secret thoughts and feelings about them? I have the star. Yeah, I do think this person really likes you. They feel like you're quite a star. You guys could be quite busy. Maybe you have some sort of public um, flame or something. Because I feel like this person feels like you have a lot of different things going on. And one of the things that I'm really feeling is there's this energy of like wanting to be more present in your life, but not feeling like you 
care about them. <laughs> so this person feels like you're quite <coughs> complex or difficult to know. But their secret thoughts are that they would love for you to pay attention to them. What else? What else, please? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. We have two green. Too immature or inexperienced to understand real love. They do not understand how to properly navigate healthy love relationships. Awkwardness. So you and this person could have had some kind of like a awkward encounter. And this person is feeling very stressed out about this. They do feel like you are someone who's like really different. Um, the two of you could have this big sort of move. Like there's this energy of maybe not seeing eye to eye. I do feel here like there could be some kind of a gap here in experience between you and this person or that's what they're feeling. And they really, really, really do not care to bridge the gap. But I feel like they feel like there's, there's this awkwardness between the two of you. And you could have really pushed away from this person. I kind of feel like you're not super interested in them. What else? Pile number two, their secret thoughts and feelings. Secret thoughts and feelings, please. And we have empty promises. You could feel like this person's not trustworthy. They're kind of trying to figure out like how to have access to you, but they feel like you're so far removed from them. Being gassed up, voluntarily promising you the sun, the stars, and the moon just to flake on you, telling you what you want to hear to get what they want from you. Yeah, you're moving into like a different space or different like paradigm. And I think this person is wanting to figure out how um, to connect with you once again. But they feel like they've made or given you way too many empty promises. So you're just like not interested anymore. What else? We have I imagine you naked. Think before you act. And I think we should slow down. Yeah, you could have put the brakes on this connection. This person kind of feels like you're a bit of a prude. I'm not going to lie. Like they could see you as somebody who is um, a bit of a tease or a prude or you're not really super open to them. They feel very much like frustrated with you, I think. So this person is definitely seeing you as someone that is, you know, kind of annoying. Because they, you don't really give this person what they want. So they're definitely a little angry. person always feels like you're questioning them you might ask this person a lot of like direct questions they really don't like that at all what else how number two we have i bow to you shifting paradigms interesting look i think on some level this person knows that you are like more advanced than them that you're more mindful than them you're more in your personal energy you're more like um you have more respect for yourself than this person has for themselves that's for sure but there's like this really self-centered focus I feel that this person has and they feel like you're you just are too in your own world like this person feels like your demands are unreasonable or something this person feels like a bit of a flake or a bit of like a I don't know like a bit manipulative Spirit is calling this person a turd, which I've never heard them say. I think it's really freaking funny. So yeah, that's for someone here. We have allowing good, allowing success and good fortune into your life, part of a greater collective. What else? Um, like another thing that's coming through is like you guys are not really focusing on love right now in general. I feel like you're in a different stage of your life where you're focusing quite a lot on building. This person sees you in that way. They do feel though a very strong connection to you. I feel like this person sees you as part of their soul tribe where they feel like that's the case um i feel like this person is very attracted to your energy but you could have put a very firm boundary with this person specifically because they were very egotistical or trying to get you to sort of yield to them without you know paying a, a lot of attention to what you actually want you know like this person is very immature in terms of their um approach to you 
And you could have told this person that, or you could have hinted towards this person that you needed a bit more from them than what they were providing. I do think this person sees you as driven, ambitious. You're definitely working on something. They feel like you're a bit of a prude or difficult to get to know. Um, but I more think that you've set some clear boundaries with this person that they don't like. This person's not used to people setting boundaries with them. And so they are definitely frustrated with that. But I think you guys did what you felt was the right thing. And you must trust your gut because if that's coming through, it's probably coming through for a reason, right? So just something to keep in mind. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys, pile number um, two. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Very interesting energy here. I would say to just continue to focus on, you know, what you are doing. This person is very envious. And kind of like they know you're on a different level, I guess, than they are. And that's making them also feel aggravated with you. But who cares what they think, right? Okay. Hello, Pow 3. How are you? If you chose the Pluto Altar Spray, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. Just going to go ahead and dive right into your energy here so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of the pile of pile number three who chose the altar spray? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, I wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything you do for pile three. Thank you for all of the support that you offer them. Please keep them protected as we go forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I feel like this person, this is really funny, but this person could feel like you talk a lot or something because I just keep hearing, um, you know, digress, digress, I digress. So this person could feel like there's constant chit chat with you. This is definitely giving me this energy of somebody watching you as well. So I feel like this person is keeping a close eye on you. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? Because I feel like there is like this monitoring energy coming through here which I think is kind of cool. They feel like you're kind of complex, like they're having a bit of a hard time read, reading you or understanding you. Pile number three, please. What, what are this person's secret thoughts about pile three? What are this person's secret thoughts about pile three? Five of Cups. The King of Wands. This person feels like you see right through their BS, first of all. Um, this person, one of you could be a fire sign, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, but there's this like very disappointing energy. So I don't know if you've disappointed this person or if this person feels like you guys have had some kind of an argument or disagreement, but this person definitely feels like you are on a different scale than they are. I think this person feels like you see right through them and they can't kind of charm you in the same way that they can charm other people, which is definitely bothering them. This person likes to be on their A game and they like to be in the center of attention. I also feel like this person um, might have been hurt by something you said, like you could have hurt this person's ego. And so they're kind of in their own like private little bubble here. It's really funny. We have the high priestess. Yeah. This person sees you as someone who's very spiritually connected. They know you're kind of special, especially in the way that you're seeing things. You have a very unique perspective on life. And this person is very in awe of what you bring to the table. I do feel like you could have set some sort of a boundary with this individual, though. You could have told this person like what your expectations were. Because the High Priestess is very beautiful. She's one of the Divine Feminine cards. But she's also like typically kind of considered off-limits. So I feel like um, this person views you as off limits in some way. You could have set a boundary up with this person um, in some capacity or decided like, hey, I'm not really open to this. They see you as very intelligent though. Pile three secret thoughts. The four of coins. Mm-hmm. You are not super open to this individual. Like I feel like they are really frustrated by that because they want 
to be close to you. <laughs> but this person feels like you are not open to them at this point. And you could have told this person that you're not interested or you could have backed away from them in some capacity. Um, I just feel like you're not, you're not having it anymore, if that makes sense. You just do not care anymore. So if this person feels like you're complex, like you're kind of annoying, like they're, it's hard for them to read you. So they have a lot of frustration, I think, when it comes to you in general. Pile number three, please. What are their secret thoughts about this person? What are pile threes? What are the person's on pile three's mind? What are they thinking about them? Secret thoughts, please. Yeah, we have player energy. I feel like the problem with this person is that you called them out on their bullshit and they don't like that because they are not used to that. Um, so they're a little annoyed with you because you did call them out. They chose to play the field and to keep their options open. They're not ready to settle down at the moment. They have more playing to do. Yeah, like just overall, a freakish, freakishly immature energy. And I think you could have called this person out or said to them that you're not like interested in them because of their immaturity. This person feels like you see them for who they are and they really don't like that. What else? We have attack. This is so funny, but you could have said something to this person that they're viewing as like this really ridiculous attack. When in essence, you were just trying to be honest with them. <coughs> Words or actions said and done in haste. They have an emotional outburst towards you, causing pain, shock, and sadness, seeing a different side of them. Yeah, this person, you could have like called this person out on something. And for some reason, they're seeing you as like combative or something instead of really seeing how like what you were saying was true. I do think one of the things coming through here is like, you do not let people like this have access to your very special energy and this person really doesn't like that they feel very sad what else will you choose me i left because you told me to i want to start a family with you you know barf this person could see you as very nurturing they feel like you can make a really good parent um but again, there's this energy of them kind of like not wanting to change their ways, but wanting you to sort of um, baby them or take care of them instead of them also looking at how they can actually be, you know, adding value into your, your life. Like this is such an immature energy. This person really feels like they have the upper hand in some capacity here. They feel like they are... Um, you know, really charming. And at some point you will decide to just let them back into your life. Like this person, they don't really respect your boundaries and they feel like you're difficult to work with. But I think that they're just seeing that because you are moving into a different energy altogether. Like you just don't care. And you've kind of, I think, cut this person out for the majority of you because they feel like they just don't have access to you. This person knows that they're not a good fit. What else? We have sweet hawks, profound peace of mind. A hawk is a predator. So I think for some of you, you see this person as very predatory. Um, and at this point, you are not letting anything come into your life to disturb your peace. I'm also hearing the name Abigail. So someone here could have that name. But there's this energy of like just not giving a shit about letting someone coming in, come in to kind of create problems for you. At this point, you're in a different space. And you are moving into more of this like expansive energy. Yeah, this is really lovely. We also have mystical self-discovery, taking care of yourself. At this point too, you're in this very independent energy where you're just like really loving yourself. You're focusing on your own vibration. You are moving into this energy of movement. 
you don't really care about other people. Um, you're kind of just focusing on, you know, what do you need? What do you require? And I think what this person is realizing is that by no means do you need them. They know that they are not really um, allowed to have access to you anymore. This person is such a, um, they just are very self-centered and I feel like they view anything that you're kind of doing as like an affront to them. What else, please? Yeah, this person is very manipulative and I, I just worry that they would continue to sort of hold something over your head. They just feel like you're difficult, but I don't really think you are difficult. I just feel like you're um, not interested <laughs> in this person, you know? And because of that, you're pushing away into a different space. I'm very proud of you. I would just be cautious about this person because honestly, they don't seem like a very good person anyways. And they don't seem like they um, really understand you or even want to sort of understand you, which is a big problem. I would just continue to thrive and to, you know, do what you're doing regardless of this person and what they want. It doesn't really matter because you're on a unique path yourself. So yes, that's what I have. I'm sending you a big hug. Hope you're well. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.